So when I was a kid, I was always curious of how things worked, and I tore a lot of things apart, you know, to see how they worked. And it was wasn't always pretty. It was quite messy, and a lot of times things didn't get put back together. Um, you know, I've gotten better at taking things apart and putting them back together as I got older, but sometimes it could still be messy. Case in point, I got this electronic hand wheel that I wanted to take a look at the insides of, and I just couldn't get to it, just couldn't get to it. So, I really want it in there, and well... I destroyed the case, but I've gained access. Now, I wasn't too upset about that. I was pretty good with that. Then I looked on eBay and found that these things were going for three to four hundred dollars used. Six hundred dollars new on the manufacturer's website. I'm still okay with that because I wasn't going to sell this. It's a scrap, scrap hand wheel off a old CNC that was getting throw it out so I just grabbed it because I thought it was neat um, <clears throat> so let's take a look at this thing the front of it see it's the dials are all marked out here and it's a pretty nice little uh, knob hand wheel it's got a hundred detent positions and it kinda spring into place it's magnetic so I'm thinking that's where a lot of the money is because the circuit is a really really simple circuit I mean there's there's three main main uh, ICs that that make this thing work well actually two ICs and uh, some optical switches there's two optical switches on the bottom side as you can't really see them in the photo but they count these little fingers going around, these little metal fingers, as you turn the wheel. Those optical switches count the spaces in between those fingers. There's a hundred of them. And then inside there in the electronics, there's a, there's a comparator that compares the signals. So that comparator is going to send out a one or a zero, depending on what it sees. And you got a line driver, a, a quad differential line driver. And that's the differential part is for uh, if there's any noise in the line to, to cancel out the noise so you're getting a, a good clean signal. This is run off a, a 5 volts DC. And I have it hooked up to my power supply right here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my power supply on. And we're pulling current right now. So, we're all in business. I also got this hooked up to the O-scope. I want to turn up the intensity here. I got, on two channels, I got uh, A channel and B channel. Uh, there's four outputs on this, on this hand wheel. There's a A, a not A, a B, and a not B. Right now, I'm hooked up to the A and the B. And that corresponds to what we see on the, the, the scope. A being the top line, B being the bottom signal. And I'm setting it 5 volts per division. And this is a 5 volt DC, so we're going to see about one division of jump when I go ahead. I'm just going to go ahead and, and turn this knob like so. And you could watch on the, the scope. How the signals jump. So those signals are being, they'll be sent back to a, a processor to get processed and what this this hand wheel was for was for positioning the axes on the CNC machinery. Um, so in a way it does it with the, the two optical switches it knows which way you're turning by which switch sees the gap first. So if I very careful or turn this very slowly, you'll be able to see the one signal 
change see before the other signal so it knows it's going one direction now if I go the other direction and I gotta go nice and slow you'll see the bottom signal change before the top signal bottom top bottom top so I'm going the other direction now the other direction top bottom and that's how it would distinguish which way this knob was being turned and of course it count the pulse, uh, pulses and whatnot and that's all set up in the processor and it, it would output to the to the servos to to move the axes on the CNC so I just thought this was a neat little thing obviously I'm not going to sell it anymore um, and if I did it's not going to be worth no three four hundred anymore see I destroyed the case oh well all in the name of knowledge it's a high price to pay but it's worth it alright kids thanks for looking enjoy